The Eagles traveled to MetLife to face the New York Jets with a backup quarterback missing their top three cornerbacks. Surely the offense would go off in this one, right? Turns out that wasn't the case. The offense started strong and then the wheels came off with you know, four turnovers. Uh, there were multiple sacks. The offensive line banged up. What was really going on with the Eagles offense down the stretch at MetLife? Let's get into the tape. On the opening drive, this is just insane playmaking ability from Jalen Hurts. The Jets are going to bring pressure. They're going to bring a slot corner. They're going to drop a linebacker. So it's it's only a five-man rush, but you're getting four guys rushing against three on this side. You're pretty much guaranteed a free runner unless the running back stays in to block. And Hurts is just going to make this guy miss, and he's going to get out and make a play. Uh, not many quarterbacks in the league are making this play. So he's able to step up. Most quarterbacks are dead in the water here, okay? Even if they get out of it, they're not going to be able to stiff arm a defender and make a throw on target to A.J. Brown for a first down. That's just ridiculous. Like, when I saw this throw, when I first saw him let go of the throw, I thought he's throwing it away. But nope, and whoop, makes the guy miss. Stiff arming him. Like, right here, how are you throwing an accurate football from this position? That's just incredible stuff. I thought it's a throwaway. Instead, he drops the ball into A.J. Brown on the sideline. Great stuff there from Jalen Hurts. And if you think it was a one-off thing for Jalen Hurts running the ball, like you didn't watch the whole game because this is the same drive. At first and five after a penalty, and the Eagles are going to try to run some routes downfield. It doesn't get open, but watch Hurts' ability to make the play here. Makes one guy miss. Running around, eyes are downfield. Now we're going to tuck and run. Gets inside the receiver and slides. He picks up the first down on that play, and he doesn't take a hit. Like, this is just great stuff. Great job of, you know, navigating the pocket. They run a stunt here. He gets to the left, back to the right. Just the athleticism there by Hurts. He's so good with the ball in his hands in these situations. This is a neat little design I liked from the Eagles. Uh, this is Devonta Smith in the backfield. Now on the outside, we've got A.J. Brown is going to run this deep comeback route that's so good. We've got a seam route, a seam route, and then we've got a deep comeback. And Devonta Smith is just going to run an angle route, a Texas route out of the backfield. Now let me tell you why this is so good. Against any type of zone coverage... You like your receiving options on the boundary. Are you running cover two? Well, we've got a receiver on a comeback route. We've you can't the safety can't get between these guys. Maybe the maybe the receiver can just keep going vertical. You can turn it into four verts. You've, you're showing a single high safety. Is this cover three? If it's cover three, we take the seam shot to whichever seam the safety doesn't cover. So you've got your bases covered against zone, and against man, you're going to have a wide receiver, Devonta Smith running a Texas route, an angle route, against a linebacker in man coverage. Now, props to the linebacker. He does a really good job staying with Smith on this one. But still, nice little play there. Uh, and, and this isn't the only time this game that we'll see the Eagles put a non-running back in the backfield. Uh, we see him do it with Smith again. We're going to see him do it with Goddard. I really like this look for the Eagles offense. This was another really cool design, not pictured because the all 22 cut it off, but we've got a receiver or a running back that starts out wide and motions into the backfield. So we've already got one motion in this play. And then AJ Brown is going to go on an orbit motion and all this motion messes with the defense. But basically what we're going to do here is it's a, it's a triple option play. We're reading the defensive end, right? If he crashes, we're going to pull the ball. If he gets out wide, we hand it off. We understand that part. The second part is Boston Scott coming out to the flat, and then you're doing a two-on-one read. Is Hurts going to keep it? Is he going to toss it out? And so we watch this start. We're going to see the defensive end is going to crash right here. He's getting upfield, so we're going to pull this ball out. And what teams will do oftentimes against read options is you crash with the defensive end, you scrape over the top with a linebacker. So number three is going to come shooting downhill here at Jalen Hurts. Fortunately, there's a third option. You just flip this ball to Boston Scott big gain converts a third down i love that play design would definitely like to see them use some more pony packages two running backs in the backfield some more of these motion looks because i really thought it confused the jets on this one 
we're still on the opening drive. We've had Devonta Smith in the backfield. We've had two running backs in the backfield. Now we have Dallas Goddard in the backfield. Eagles love to run screen passes to Dallas Goddard. It hasn't worked as well off the line of scrimmage, although we've seen that. We'll see it in this game, him lining up here and run this little screen. This time, Dallas Goddard in the backfield. I'm just going to set it up like a running back screen. And Dallas Goddard is so good with the ball in his hands after the catch. We'll roll the tape. We get some blocks on the outside, and you get Dallas Goddard in space. And he's able to get upfield here and pick up the first down. Another nifty little play design. I thought Brian Johnson was really in his bag on this opening possession, throwing out some looks we have not seen before. It's something I hope the Eagles continue to build out as the season goes along. Just an easy little completion here to A.J. Brown. The Jets are in a middle of field open zone coverage look. Middle field open means we've got a safety on this half, a safety on this half. Middle of the field's open. It's fairly intuitive. Uh, the Eagles are going to run a little flat route here. This flat route is going to hold the linebacker that should be in this zone. This middle linebacker, he opens his hips up to the three-sided, the, the three-receiver side of the formation. He has to gain depth to protect the middle from like a seam route from Goddard. And so he's out of the equation. As soon as he opens this way, we hold down the linebacker. You know A.J. Brown's going to be open on this dig route. Uh, just really good little scheme up here against a cover two zone. See the linebacker opens his hips up. You already know this is going to be open now, and you just drop that in behind. So uh, easy little pitch and catch there. A.J. tries to make something happen after the catch. There's just not really a whole lot there, but nice little rhythm uh, timing throw here from Hertz. Just going to get the ball, uh, hits his drop, shuffle, bounces once, balls out, moves the chains. Now the Eagles are going to motion DeAndre Swift out here. That puts you four strong. You've got four receivers on one side of the formation, one on the other. This really stresses out defenses, and it sort of breaks your coverage rules. Yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't matter. Lane Johnson's out, and Jack Driscoll's just going to get instantly beaten. Uh, really rough game for Jack Driscoll. Uh, you know, fortunately, Jalen Hurts is back there. And again, this should be a sack as you get the instant win. Hurts is going to be able to step up and rip that through and he's able to get out and throw the ball. And he turns what should have been a sack, right? We can all agree this should be a five, eight-yard sack into a five-yard gain. Second and 18 to second and five, that's a huge swing. And it's because of the athleticism of your quarterback, the strength there, the pocket awareness to get up and get out. Great stuff again from Jalen Hurts. Now we get the first Devonta Smith drop. This is going to be a little RPO glance. We've got the option to run it. We're reading the defense here. If the defense commits to the run, if we step up, that's all we need to throw this little slant route to A.J. Brown. And the safety comes flying downhill on this one. Uh, they're rotating into a middle of field closed coverage. And so that makes this even more wide open for the throw. Hertz is going to put this on Devonta Smith's hands. And I mean, I won't say 99 times out of 100 he catches this because he drops another one in the game. But this is a catch that Devonta Smith is going to make almost every time. Off game for Devonta Smith, and that's the story of this game. So many skill position mistakes, and you know it kills drives, and it ends up losing you a game on the road that you shouldn't lose. I just don't get this one from A.J. Brown. Yes, A.J. Brown's running a clear-out route. He's trying to take the corner and the safety with him so Devonta Smith can get this crossing route. It's, it's a lot like Dagger, honestly. Uh, except we're trying to drive off this offside safety. So same sort of idea. And yes, A.J. Brown's the clear-out route. Does that matter? Like Jalen Hurts throws him the ball so many times when he's covered, when he's not in the progression. And we see uh, as we attack here, this safety sees Devonta Smith coming. And so he's going to come down. He steps down and takes that away. You now have one-on-one -on -one coverage, A.J. Brown. You've got to step, keep running, but he slows up inexplicably he slows up right here he stops now he takes off oh shoot the ball's in the air just over his fingertips this one should have been a touchdown and to be honest there's no reason there's no excuse for aj brown to stop running on these plays jalen hurts has a track record of throwing it to him anyways this one could have cost the eagles big they're going to end up scoring on this drive but if they don't can you imagine like this could have been a huge mistake for the eagles offense but the reason you don't get too mad at A.J. Brown is here we are a couple plays later. Uh, Eagles are going to chip block with DeAndre Swift and then just sort of release him to sit right here. And he's going to hold this linebacker down. This is going to be zone coverage. A.J. Brown, 
deep in route, wide open, and he's going to turn what should be like a 10 or 12 yard gain into a huge gain with his after the catch ability. So we get the chip block. We're holding that linebacker down. There's a window to put this ball in. This should be a first down. It should be a 10 yard completion, but he breaks one tackle, breaks a second tackle, and now it's off to the races. Uh, he's not able to get all the way by the safety. He's pushed out of bounds inside the five yard line. That's the great part about A.J. Brown, though. Not only is he good in contested catch, he's so good after the catch, and you see it right here, running through two arm tackles and getting a huge gain on what should have just been a first down. I really like this one from the Eagles. This is something that you saw the Rams do a lot last week. I was glad to see the Eagles start to do it. A.J. Brown starts out here, and they're going to motion him, and they're going to snap the ball right here while he's still on the outside of Goddard. And then he crosses to the inside running an in-breaking route. It's just a little thing you can do pre-snap to mess with the defense uh, and try to confuse their coverage check rules. But like I said, he's going to motion snap on this drag route. Dallas Goddard threatens vertically. And this is going to really stress the defense. You're going to see the linebackers start to go with A.J. Brown, and it opens up room for this Texas route again to DeAndre Swift. So let's roll the tape here. You see the linebacker has to go with A.J. Brown right here, and it gives you a window. Now you know we're about to break like this. This guy's got outside leverage. He's got no chance. We're moving the wrong direction here, and so Hertz is going to take this throw. The linebacker does try to pass A.J. Brown off and flip his hips back inside. Hertz throws this kind of on the back shoulder. Maybe this is a bit of a bad throw. I'm honestly not sure what Hertz is trying to do here. If he's worried about this getting collisioned at the catch point, I don't think he has to be but you've also got a safety shooting downhill towards the spot. Uh, whichever way, he ends up pulling DeAndre Swift back, and he catches it turning. He'll break a tackle and get into the end zone. So I'm not sure if that's just a little behind by Hertz or if he did that on purpose. I could see an argument for both. Uh, but either way, really good job by DeAndre Swift to adjust to this ball and catch it behind his body, then break two, well, I guess break one tackle by two guys and get into the end zone for six. Now, on this one, the Eagles are flagged for an illegal shift. They move guys, and they snap the ball before they're set for, for a full second. But I think the official throws the flag right at the snap, and a lot of times that would be signifying uh, an offsides. And I think Hertz thinks he's got a free play here because every route's short, and he's going to turn that down. Now, he's this is a clean pocket, and he's going to bail from it. I don't think this there's, – there's instances of Hertz bailing from pockets when he shouldn't, and he certainly could stay in this pocket – uh, he certainly could throw this ball to DeAndre Swift. He could maybe throw it here. Like, he could take throws. But I really think on this one, Hertz thinks he has a free play, and so he's going to scramble, activate scramble drill for free. And, I mean, he does a great play here. Rolling out, jumping off his back foot, making this throw over the linebacker. This is a beautiful throw. Uh, ultimately, it's negated by a penalty. But I understand the process here. I think Hertz thinks he has a free play. We're going to try to scramble around and see what we can make happen. This is just a beautiful throw. Just watch this. Off that back foot, taking a hit right over the hand of the defensive player. That's pretty stuff there from Jalen Hurts. It is halftime here on the channel. If you're enjoying this content, despite the fact it's covering an Eagles loss, be sure you smash that subscribe button here on YouTube. I put out weekly All-22 content, as well as streaming several podcasts, including my podcast Chalk Talk that covers the NFL as a whole from an Eagles perspective. So if you like this content, please consider checking out everything I have on YouTube. And now, let's get back to the video. The Jets are in quarter, quarter, half on this one. So we've got a, a half field safety, a cover two safety over here. And then we've got quarters technique from this safety and from this cornerback. You're going to see this cornerback open his hips and start to gain depth before the snap of the ball. The Eagles are going to run their absolute favorite concept. We've got dagger running off the safety here with the slot receiver, Devonta Smith running the deep in route, the dig route, and it's going to be wide open. And I mentioned it before, Devonta Smith drops it. Really rough game for Devonta Smith here. You could argue Hertz does not need to move up in this pocket like this. I'm fine with it. He delivers the throw anyways, uh, but we'll look from the back view here, and you can see at the top of his drop, he's got a pretty good pocket. Feeling a little uncomfortable maybe with Jack Driscoll. And, I mean, I'm fine with him. There, there's a huge angle to move up here, 
and make sure you're not going to get shed here on Jack Driscoll, but you could sit in this pocket and make this throw. It's something I would talk about a lot if this was an inaccurate throw. It's not an inaccurate throw. It's right on the money, right on the face mask. Devonta Smith just drops it. On this one, we're going to get a play fake. We're going to try to take a shot downfield, and there's just nobody open. I mean, watch this play unfold. You could get the ball out to the flat right here, but you're not looking at the flat initially. Like, that's not your first read. We're trying to go deep. We ran the play fake, all that. Where's he supposed to throw this ball? Maybe you could th you could argue that you could throw it into here, and I think that's the read you would want to take if you weren't getting shed right here. And again, just offensive line unable to hold up. I think you could make that, but again, this is a play that should be dead in the water. We should be taking a sack right here. But we're not, because Jalen Hurts makes gives you the athleticism to make the second reaction play. Scramble drill. He's going to hit Devonta Smith on the sideline to move the chains. Uh, the value of a mobile quarterback. It can't be overstated. You can watch from the back view here. This should be a sack. Like, there's no two ways about it. Sua Opeta gets beat right here. Pushed back into Jalen Hurts' pocket, and he's able to get out of the way. Makes a good throw on the run to Devonta Smith. Here we see Jalen Hurts' second interception. and The Jets are doing a really good job now of sitting on underneath routes. They know the Eagles' offensive line is weak. Two backups on the right side. They know they've got good pass rushers. So we're going to sit on the underneath routes and trust that our pass rush will get home before your deep routes come open. That's a good bet on this one. Devonta Smith is going to run this deep crossing route, and it's going to get open. It just takes way too long. And, you know, this is the offensive design thing. I don't know if this is Hurts. Hertz has Goddard. Goddard's open right now. Now, that's not who he wants, right? He wants to hit a chunk play. We've got A.J. Brown coming this way. We're going to have Devonta Smith coming this way. We want to push the ball downfield. Sometimes you just got to take the check down. And I don't think that's the design on this play. But I question the wisdom of dialing up so many plays attacking downfield behind a backup offensive line. You get hit as you throw. It turns into a big play for the defense. Like the Eagles offense lives on explosives, but sometimes they hunt them too hard. And I think this is an opportunity. I mean, watch how long he stands in this pocket. How long can you reasonably expect Jack Driscoll to hold up in protection? Not that long. Hit as he throws, it's an interception. And it gives the Jets life before halftime. Now the Jets are stacking the box. They, they want to get the ball back. And so they've got middle of the field close look. It's going to turn into cover one man. We can pretty well guess that from the pre-snap alignments. You know what the Eagles love against cover one? They love A.J. Brown on a vertical route up the sideline. And this is just A.J. Brown wins. Jalen Hurts makes a good pass. Drop back. Protection holds up long enough to hit the top of your drop and get that one out. Hertz puts it a little to the sideline. Just watch, I, watch A.J. Brown here. This is just ridiculous. This is a little underthrown and a little to the sideline, but watch A.J. Brown slow up. He's behind the receiver. Boom, he finds the ball. He's going to slow up to generate contact, and then it gives him room to accelerate off to get this ball. So he slows up right here, holds the guy off, leans out and catches it. That's fantastic wide receiver play. A.J. Brown is so good in contested catches because of that ball tracking ability and that, that body control. See right there? It's, it's subtle, but he sits there and he leans into that. Watch this again from the back view. I just can't get over this. Right here, boom. He's going to take that step. In. The ball is coming right here, and he's going to create this contact to give himself room to catch it on the sideline. That's just fantastic wide receiver play from A.J. Brown. Now, I said the Jets have been sitting on the underneath receivers, and that's true, but, man, this is a bad miss by Hertz. They're going to run a play action. We keep the tight end into chip block. We pull Jason Kelsey. We're giving all kinds of help. The right side of your line has been struggling. We're going to give all kinds of help here. And, and A.J. Brown is going to run a streak. We've got a crossing route by Devonta Smith that's going to be wide open. We've got a corner route by Alameda Zacchaeus. Both of these are going to be wide open. And Hertz turns it down and takes the check down. See, we've got we got all kinds of eyes here on this side of the line. We're building this wall, right? Hertz is going to have room to step up. He drops too deep. If we're starting right here, he's dropping too deep. Look at this. Line of scrimmage is, I drew a terrible line. Line of scrimmage is a 31. He's at the 21. Why are we 10 yards deep? Like, if you're up here where you should be, 
there's not a room there's not room here right but we can already tell safety's turned this is going to be open this is coming open both of these are open and we take this little check down now i'm not ever going to fault a guy for turning down holding onto the ball and taking a deep shot to hit the underneath that's okay. Don't make a negative play. It's not like this is third down. You can throw short of the sticks. That's fine. Don't take a negative play. But man, like, look at look at Devonta Smith. Look at Alameda Zacchaeus. You've got guys running wide open downfield. And you just take the check down. That's rough. That's a rough one there from the offense. You watch it from the back view here. And again, watch just how deep Hurts drops. I don't like how deep his drop gets here. And how he's fading over. I mean, you get fading over a little bit, but man, would like to see him stand in there and deliver that one downfield. The Jets are going to bring pressure here. We've seen him do this several times in the game. They're going to bring the slot corner, drop this linebacker out. And so you're going to get a free runner. You have four guys rushing against three offensive linemen, and there's nothing you can do about that. But I love that Hertz knows he's going to get hit in the back, and he stands in here and hits this out route to Dallas Goddard. This is a great play. Just knows it's coming. Third down. Ball's out. Perfect timing. Great job by Hertz and Goddard. We don't need to talk about the fact Jalen Hurts false starts. He starts falling backwards here. I'm surprised that didn't get called. But boom, sticks his foot in the ground. And that's even more impressive, right? Your timing's off a little bit before the snap. From that little stutter, able to go make a play. Move the chains on third down. That's huge. Now we get to the ill-fated interception on third and 10. I liked the decision to dial up a pass play. You called runs on first and second down. You got no yardage. Go try to end the game instead of trusting it to, you know, Makai Gardner at safety and uh, Mario Goodrich at cornerback to go get another stop. I don't mind this. In theory, all you should be risking is 30 seconds of clock if it's an interception because you trust Jalen Hurts not to throw an interception. But he has his worst play of the day. Um... It's going to be a little curl route to the sticks here from Goddard. A little curl route here. By the way, where do you expect the ball to go on third and 10? Curl route to the sticks, right? A.J. Brown's going to run this deep comeback. We've got a streak route here. I just, I don't, I don't particularly love the play call, but they're going to get eyes on this. They, I said they've been sitting on these routes. They've been sitting on these underneath routes. Boom, we bail out here. We've got inside out on both of these inside receivers right here. There's two-way goes out of the slot, right? We've got a guy on both sides. Neither of these is open. You need to know that now. Like, right now, I need Jalen Hurts to recognize this is not here. Throw it to A.J. Brown on the comeback. Let A.J. Brown go win one-on-one. -on -one. Why are we trying to squeeze this ball in? And beyond that, we'll look at this from the back view. He's throwing off his back foot. Doesn't drive it in there. He's late. Gets intercepted. This is the worst play Jalen Hurts made in this football game. And it's sad because I think Hurt. No, I didn't show the back view. It's sad because I think Jalen Hurts played really well in this game for three quarters. But this is what people are going to remember. Let's run it back one more time here. Off the back foot. Can't have it. You cannot have that from your MVP candidate quarterback. And then we go to the final play for the Eagles offense in the game. It's fourth and 10. The Jets are going to go cover three. Hertz is going to try to hit this post route to Devonta Smith. He's late. It's underthrown. It's going to be incomplete. When we roll this, you see, it's kind of the only option. Now, I would like to see you... Again, the Jets are sitting on underneath routes. They've been sitting on underneath routes. First, second, and third down, we're trying to throw underneath. Here, we're running an underneath route, an underneath route. Take your shot on second down. Make them back off and give you underneath. Normally, teams are going to be a little softer here. They're going to be playing a little more prevent style of defense. The Jets were sitting on underneath routes, and you waited until fourth down to take a shot, when if it doesn't work, the game's over, and then you didn't throw it to the guy that's been having a great game, A.J. Brown. You throw it to Devonta Smith. Now, this play's not on Devonta Smith. This ball's out ridiculously late. There's no reason for Hertz to move. Absolutely clean pocket. You've got the safety over here, and maybe this is why you do it. The safety is paying attention to A.J. Brown. You've got Devonta Smith inside leverage here. Maybe you can lay this ball out there, but he starts shuffling. Why are we shuffling? Why are we heel clicking? Now we're late. 
Devonta Smith has a step. It's just way underthrown, and there's no chance here. This is a brutal rep by Hertz, who, again, played really well until the last two drives. We see it here. He drops back. There is no reason to move off of this spot. Why are we moving off of this spot? Where is the pressure? Where is the threat? The Jets rush two guys on this play. Why are we moving? And it's not just that we move. We heel click. We bounce. We bounce. Now we're too late. That ball has no chance. Just awful ending to the game by Jalen Hurts. So there you have it. The Eagles pass game review from this stunning loss. I thought the Jets had a really good plan defensively once Lane Johnson went out of the game. And it's a shame to me that Jalen Hurts throws that interception on the second to last possession. If the Eagles are able to bleed that game out, if he's able to lead the game-winning drive, we're having an entirely different conversation this week. I mean, if you exclude turnovers, which you can't, but if you exclude turnovers, two of the three of which were not Jalen Hurts' fault, he had .273 EPA per play this week, and that's a phenomenal number. Anything over .2 is really well. Now, only one of those turnovers is ultimately on him, but it's the biggest one, and it's at the end of the game. I thought Hertz played really well for three quarters, and he was let down by his skill position players minus A.J. Brown. And then in the final quarter, it finally catches up to them. Jake Elliott misses a field goal. Jalen Hurts stares down an interception, and things just sort of compounded. That's not something that you normally see from this team, and it's not something that I would expect to see moving forward. 